Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you how to uh, take apart a 357 Taurus Model 66 revolver. My buddy at work has one, and I'm making this for him. But if anyone else needs help, here you go. One, make sure it's completely unloaded and free of ammo. You don't want no accidents, no bullets through the wall, pool, floor, ceiling. So make sure it's unloaded and keep all ammo out of the area so you're not half tempted to put it in a shell and be like oh it looks cool and then next thing you know kaboom so make sure it's unloaded no ammo in the vicinity no barrel obstructions everything's safe now you're going to need a flathead a small flathead screwdriver and then you're going to start with the grips with a screw right here and just start on turning and screwing that until your grips get loose. And once that happens, they should just fall apart just like that. Now this is your uh, mainspring. You want to keep it oiled because it's it's the this is the main mechanism for your firearm. It controls the hammer and the trigger. So you want to make sure this is always loop. Then take the cylinder out. Take your flathead and there's two screws. There's one here. There's one here. Don't mess with this one. This is for your trigger assembly. This is for your cylinder assembly. You want to do unscrew this. And don't lose these parts. I mean, they are tiny. So, and when you put, when you take everything apart, put everything where you know you're not going to lose it. I put everything by my grips. Whichever way it wants to roll, I put them right there, and I don't touch it till I'm done. Then, your cylinder and assembly should just slide out. Then after that. Look carefully to make sure this retaining pin is still in the cylinder. And when you pull that out, the spring is supposed to be with it. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's still in this cavity right here. But your piece should look like this. Put it by the grips. Turn your cylinder upside down and make sure that there's nothing coming out. And this is basically your firearms disassembled just like this and it's ready for cleaning and maintenance I always put about two to three drops on here on both sides because the grips are covering everything and you can't get to this as much as I would like to but so I just kind of I constantly keep this oiled just so it works all the time so then putting it back together You want to take your cylinder and your cylinder pin, put it back in like that. Make sure there's no obstructions. This is supposed to go down. If it doesn't go down, then there's something in here that you need to get out. Then line everything up in that little slot. And it should just slide in you gotta kind of have it at an angle but once you find the right angle it'll it'll come in just like that no my thumbs no my thumbs right anyway there we go so oh, there it goes way there we go sorry guys I'm a fucking dumbass today So just like that, just have it at an angle, wiggle it in, and before you tighten it, it should lock up just like that, without the screw even being in. Then, take your retaining pin screw, or cylinder screw, symbol, cylinder assembly screw, whatever you want to call it, carefully put it back, 
I finger tight it real quick just so it won't put, come flying out. And just take your screwdriver. Tighten it. Then check the action. Is it working right? If not, you don't have the cylinder lined up and there's probably a gap right here. Make sure it works. Is it locked down tight? Yes. If not, then this little piece right here is either broke or when you push this in, sometimes this doesn't pop back up. And there you go. And then the same thing, when you put your grips on, line these up. Oh yeah, another thing, there's a hole right here. It's for this pin, so if you take this and just pop that, pop the grip with the pin in through this hole, it'll make your life a little bit easier. And that way you can just line up the grips, just like that, squeeze everything together. Now don't over tighten this bolt or you'll strip it out. And then you're going to have grips that suck. About four or five times. Look, make sure that seam's closed. Check your firearm again. Does everything look right? The cylinder's not warped, it's not moving. And there you go, disassembly and reassembly of a Taurus 357 Model 66. And every other revolver that Taurus makes because as soon as that pin, as soon as that screw comes out, the cylinder comes flying out. Hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys on the next Slayers channel. Keep it brutal.